Welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. I can't believe this is the final episode of the season. We're going to be coming back to this next year because it got voted in first for spring. Um, though I should probably mention a couple things before we get into today's video. I do have the stats up for the poll for... Uh, what I'm going to be starting to record actually tomorrow on Friday. So we're going to be doing No Man's Sky. So this one will make it into next year as well. Stardew Valley will be delayed by one year at least. So not next year, but the year after is probably when it's going to be added back. I think that's when I have it scheduled. Um, yeah, it will probably be scheduled after that for sure. And then we have American Truck Simulator. So these will be the two options that you have for the next poll, Stardew Valley and American Truck Simulator. And uh, without, with, or with that being said, uh, we do have some traffic issues that we need to sort out today. I want to try getting this road a little bit more organized and resolved. Now, I remember this intersection being a problem. As far as this one over here... I honestly don't know if there's any way to go about fixing it, tell you the truth. I think it's just um, a bad location with the connection over here, and there's so much traffic going both directions that it's causing congestion. So without in like re wrecking the entire intersection and trying to figure out where to put the cargo um, directly onto the highway with the amount of room that we have, and redeveloping it, I don't think we have enough time to actually do that today. So. It will do with what it has. It's way better and than what we had before, so I'm not complaining. What I am complaining about, though, is this in, this roundabout over here. It's pretty congested. It's pretty backed up. I think that's mostly because of the how sh small it is in general. Uh, I only went with like a few grid version of it, like four blocks out. So if we expand it to something like we did over here it should be a little bit smoother in general because the cars go faster if they have more road to go around and as you can see it's mostly just traffic coming this direction it's not so much traffic going the other direction there's a lot of spaces open between the cars and stuff before they get to this point so i don't think it's so much that part it's just people coming this direction in general so all right we'll start with that and then we'll um See what we can come up with for maybe a better design than what we had. Though I really like the heart-shaped angle. It was really nice. But we'll, we'll see what we can come up with.
Alright, so I caused a little bit of a traffic jam over here, but um, I figure it will go down in a little bit once the traffic kind of starts to sort itself out. I did notice that it is a lot larger of a loop than the one over here, so if we look at this one, it's pretty small in comparison. We can kind of compare the two. That's the smaller one, that's the larger one. This one can handle a lot more traffic, which is good. As you can see, the cars aren't really backing up too much, which is awesome. Um, I had to put the bridge, kind of like a bridge going this way, into the town because it was just too sharp of a corner to actually put a uh, thing here, but it gives it some aesthetics, I guess. Um, it seems to be doing pretty good. We might even want to put a double entrance on, maybe. See if that helps a little bit. Just get some of that traffic on. I'm not sure if we need that much going out, but it is rush hour, so we'll see if we can't get this traffic down a little bit. Um, I think I would be pretty happy with just that progress if we can sort that one intersection out. We are getting a little bit of money from here. Uh, we got 100 and something, 197 cars. Okay, so it's starting to back up over here at this intersection. I don't think it's... Mo I think it's just mostly people trying to switch lanes, honestly. Might be able to fix that by making a double exit. And maybe they can stay in that other lane. They still seem to be switching. It might take them a couple seconds, like a couple minutes to start realizing they can use the other lane, but... That's the only downside about this uh, particular AI is they... They don't realize it off the bat, so it's a little hard to know if the changes you just made are actually going to be any good or not, so... By the looks of it, it's not, but... We'll just keep our eye open. We'll give it some time, and... Sometimes it's there coming all over the city, so... It, it's possible that it won't even get sorted out until a couple days later in the game. But they all seem to still be switching sides, so... That's where the um, traffic mod would really come in handy, the um, traffic...
So I started working on a few other um, parts of the map that uh, needed some traffic corrections. There was this little area here that uh, was jamming up pretty bad. Um, people were trying to make a... I think it was about a 90 degree turn onto this highway. So they were like practically dead stopping here and it was causing congestion. Not like a whole bunch of congestion. There's not a whole lot of traffic going through here, but there's... It, it, it was pretty backed up, mostly coming from this direction over on that side. So I fixed that and while I was doing that, I took the liberty of redecorating the area. So um, I also needed to fix up the congestion over on this part because this was directly hooked up to the ferry um, road and it was causing people coming over from the pedestrian way, they were crossing the road, causing congestion on the highway and that with the 40 or 90 degree turn it was causing a lot of backing up so not like a huge backup but it was like People were slowing down at this part because people were crossing and stuff, but it's, as you can see, it's doing really good. So yeah, and I just added some different types of boulders, uh, decorated with, you know, lush trees and stuff, trying to give it some biodiversity and, you know, landscape landmarks and stuff like that. So um, over here, I wanted something a little bit more plainsy. Something must be on fire. Uh, it's our national park. It's unfortunate. Okay, but uh, yeah, so basically I, I wanted it um, kind of decorated over in this generally er, g general area because it was... I needed to redo it anyways, so I tried to put some different trees in just to kind of blend it a little bit more and um, still kind of questioning if I can maybe make this a little bit better, but I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm really happy how this part turned out. It, I added a couple different types of pines and spruce trees. As you can see here, there's a couple different variants of it. And there's uh, thick foliage underneath too. So uh, it kind of gives it more of a foresty wood woodland kind of feel to it. Um, that being said though, we have this island we haven't really done much with. I uh, wouldn't mind maybe doing something, maybe making a national park or something out of it. And it's on the way there. There's not much to do this direction. There's not a lot of traffic, so we might be able to fit something like that.
Alrighty then, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. I think we actually capped out our um, population by the looks of it. We haven't upgraded for a while, so I think we might have um, kind of unlocked everything by the looks of it. Which means we're full on the exact um, tiles that we have, so we can't build any more for this map, and we're pretty much already expanded everywhere. So I would say this is pretty much the end of this particular map. I will see if I can't um, save the file and upload it to GitHub, so if any of you are interested in the thing, the description of this video should have the link if I am able to upload it. Um, but other than that, we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got this whole area decorated and made, made a lot l nicer. I wouldn't mind actually coming back uh, next year and maybe not in this particular save, but maybe working on a um, more detailed thing like this particular garden, like down to the core uh, decorations planning each building out, things like that, just kind of building a small town and growing up uh, out and beyond the reaches. Kind of sort of what we've done in the last little while, but not so much like ideas like this where the People's Island, which is doing great, but, you know, just something a little bit different than, you know, just the standard uh, let's build a kind of city thing. We'll slowly build up and branch out. I know it won't be as big as this one, but it, um, it should be more interesting and probably easier to manage too. Outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget we're going to be starting a new game um, pretty soon, just like next af after this uh, episode I'll be recording uh, the No Man's Sky, so we'll be definitely going into that pretty soon. If you're new to my channel, again, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.